Okay. I'm gonna read chapter 7 of My Immortal. And it's called Bring Me to Life. And, well, okay, you guys, I'm only writing this because I got five god reviews. And BTW, I won't write the next chapter till I get ten god bonds. Stop flaming or I'll report you. Ebony isn't a Mary Sue, okay? She isn't perfect. She is a Satan Itz. And she has problems. She's depressed for God's sake. Drake and I held our pale white hands with black nail polish as we went upstairs. I was wearing red Satanist things on my nails and red nail polish. Hey, Yancy, does that sound like a Mary Sue to you? I waved to the vampire. Dark misery was in his depressed eyes. I guess he was jealous of me that I was going out with Draco. Anyways, I went upstairs, excitedly with Draco. We went to his room and locked the door. Then, dot, 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 we started Frenching passively, and we took off each other's clothes enthusiastically. He felt me out before I took off my top. Then I took off my black leather bra, and he took off his pants. We went on the bed and started making out naked. Then he put his boy's thingy in mine, and we had sex. See, is that stupid? Oh, Draco, Draco, I screamed while getting an orgasm, when all of a sudden I saw a tattoo I had never seen before on Draco's arm. It was a black heart with an arrow through it. On it, in bloody gothic writing, were the words dot 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 Vampire. I was so angry. You bastard! I shouted angrily, jumping out of the bed. No, no! But you don't understand, Draco pleaded. But I knew too much. No, you fucking idiot! I shouted. You probably have AIDS anyway. I put on um, all my clothes and huffily. Oh, all huffily, and then stomped out. Draco ran out even though he was naked. He had a really big you know what, but I was too mad to care. I stomped out and did so until I was in Vampire's classroom while he was having a lesson with Professor Snape and some other people. Vampire Potter, you motherfucker, I yelled.